everyone. I'm back to bring you one of my very favorite stories called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. It stars one of our favorite pals, Peter, and we get to follow him on his snowy day adventure. Today's storytelling, you get to act out with me. We are going to be playing the part of Peter. So anytime I'm acting out something that Peter does, you can join along with me. Sound good? All right, let's get going. One day, Peter was sleeping in his bed. He was snoring. He woke up and took a big yawn. He blinked his eyes and looked out the window. Out the window. He was so excited to see that there was snow everywhere. He was so excited for a snowy day adventure. He got on his clothes. He brushed his teeth. And he ran downstairs to where his mama had put out a bowl of cereal for him, his favorite cereal. And he took a spoon and he gobbled it all up. After he was done, he needed to put on his snow suit to get ready to go out into the snow. He stood up. He bent down to pick up his snow suit. He balanced on one leg and he took a leg and put it in. He took the other leg and put that one in. He took his arm and put on the sleeve and took uh, the other arm and put on that sleeve. And he zipped up the snowsuit. He put on the hood and he was almost ready to go, but he needed his boots. Peter walked out the door into the snow. First, he turned his toes out and he walked through the snow, kind of like a penguin. Then he walked with his toes pointed in. And then he dragged his feet slowly. You, you, maybe you can do it with more control. He dragged his feet slowly. And then he saw something sticking out of the snow. What do you think it was? It was a stick, perfect for smacking a snow-covered tree. He picked up the stick and he smacked that tree. Dunk, dunk, dunk. And the snow came down, right down on his head. He brushed off that snow and he began walking to find another adventure. Ahead of him, he found the older boys were having a snowball fight. Should he join in? Whoa! That was a snowball right at his head. Oh, wow, they're throwing those snowballs really fast. Wow! Oh, jeez. Okay. Whew. They are really good at throwing those snowballs. Maybe we should maybe just... Wow! Peter thought maybe he should wait until he got a little bigger. So he went walking for new adventures. He decided he wanted to make his own snowman. So he spent time sculpting the perfect snowman, smoothing it out into a great big snowman. Then he made snow angels. Can you make some snow angels on the floor? Use your whole body. Peter then went walking for more adventures. He found a huge hill covered in snow. So he climbed up that hill. <sighs> Can you climb up the hill? And then he got to the top, put his hands up and... <sighs> One, two, three. Ah! <sighs> that was a big hill. He climbed up again. <sighs> Put his hands up. One, 
two, three. Ah! Whew, that was a lot of adventuring. Peter was beginning to get cold and hungry and tired, so he went home. Now, before he got inside, he took a handful of snow and formed it into a ball. This is perfect. I'll save it for later, he said. And he opened his pocket and put it inside. When he got inside, his mama had a warm bowl of soup waiting for him, and she took off his stinky socks. P.U. She got him into a warm bath where he could just relax. <sighs> ah. He told her all about his chilly adventures. After his bath and before bed, he went back to his coat where he looked for his snowball. And it was just all wet. The snowball was gone. Peter felt sad. What do you think happened to the snowball? Yeah, it melted. So Peter sadly went to bed and he dreamed that the snow had melted away. Early the next morning, Peter woke up and went to the window to look outside and see what was happening. He looked outside and he was so excited because there was snow everywhere. He called his best friend, Archie, and they went out for another snowy day adventure. The end. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much for joining me today in our storytelling of the snowy day. Check back again for more first stage at home throughout the next coming weeks. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.